Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Rapid Chess here. Uh, today I will show you one of the uh, games between Magnus and Nepomniachtchi. Uh, so this is a rapid match. So I now read some uh, thoughts on uh, who is going to win and um, I was surprised that basically there is a like 80 to 20 that Magnus will win. Uh, uh, Kasparov said something like um, uh, that uh, Carlson is vulnerable, Carlson is, um, makes more blunders, he's more nervous, but if he overcomes all this, then uh, he's definitely be on top. Um, I really don't see how Magnus could be so much better than Nepomniachtchi. I think that Nepomniachtchi can win. Uh, Nepomniachtchi has a better score against Magnus. He, I think, above all, is um, he, he doesn't feel like uh, Magnus is, um, uh, is not afraid of him, yeah, so to speak, uh, which I would say that uh, other players, maybe uh, Caruana was thinking that maybe he is not is not afraid of uh, Magnus, but I don't know. I think psychologically also Magnus was ahead. I don't think that uh, Nepomniachtchi can, um, you know, be afraid of Magnus. And also I was thinking that um, what I can agree is that uh, Nepo, Nepo is vulnerable. Yeah, if he's not in the mood, um, well, and he loses the game, I don't know. Uh, maybe he can fight back, maybe not. But if Magnus loses the, the first game, for instance, yeah, then uh, he definitely is the the player who can fight back. But uh, I'm not sure Nepal might just, you know, play uh, computer games all night, yeah, and just say, like, forget it, I'll play another candidates or something. I don't know, This this is possible for me. This is, I think uh psychologically uh, but it's not definitely not because of magnus yeah and uh, from this perspective of their uh, mutual games i'd say that uh, uh, nipomniachi is uh, at some uh, he may might be better uh, calculator yeah uh, and uh, in this uh, uh, not just calculator, but he has um, maybe a little bit better imagination today. Yeah, he's, uh, I think, technically, uh, in tech, uh, his technique is not that great as Magnus's, but uh, he can just um, uh, see more, a little bit deeper than Magnus. This is, I think, his, um, why he's better. And also he improved on openings. Um, not sure that uh, Magnus's team is doing as very well, but uh, Magnus's uh, um, uh, strategy is to, you know, um, uh, s create like small tricks for one game. And it was very successful actually, but uh, um, and he, of course, I, I agree that uh, he found the Sicilian Sveshnikov and revived this variation, which became extremely popular. Yeah, this is generally yeah, a big thing. But I think that overall, uh, uh, Nepomniachtchi is capable to present his uh, like of kind of plan for the for the win, and. Um, mm, find positions where Magnus will be uncomfortable. Um, as for openings, I, I checked that they never almost played d4. Uh, I mean, uh, Nepomniachtchi hasn't tried d4 against Magnus and uh, he played only e4 and occasionally c4. Maybe they will play more English openings. Uh, but um, of course they will play a lot of Sicilians. I think Sicilian is basically inevitable. Also, Magnus can play e5, um, but I don't know. Uh, I think uh, today's Magnus more like to play c5 and kind of try to press for win. 
Okay, so let's see the game quickly. Um, so this is a world championship in rapid in Doha. E4, C6. So this is another very, uh, opening, I think, which Magnus will play uh, at, in a couple of games because this is a bit longer match and uh, he can try something from there to there. And uh, after Ferruja doing getting so so many playable positions yeah, from this opening, not dry but full of life, I think Magnus will. Uh, Magnus uh, also like try to play uh, a little bit of Karo Khan, but he's not the biggest fan of this opening. Uh, and knight f6. So this is um, Magnus is playing black. Yeah, uh, this is uh, I think excellent move. Um, and I struggled to play against this with white, and I had terrible positions all the time. Yeah, this is just so powerful. Uh, 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 when uh, black has the f6 pawn yeah and you never reach an end game in this positions ever yeah that you can utilize can, like extra pawn in the end game it's not going to happen but uh, uh, black uh, king is extremely safe d4 castles castle so notice yeah bishop uh, is only two yeah normally you want to have your bishop on d3 and uh, kind of pretend attacking but you cannot even jump to g5 and um, this is just very very modest position and black's setup is much more aggressive c4 knight d7 Bishop d3. So, um, yeah, this variation, in, uh, in this variation, Magnus lost to uh, Yang Shishtaf Duda uh, this year, and um, it was his, uh, uh, like, um, defeat which ended his streak of unbeat being unbeaten for, like, 150 games, which is ridiculous as well. And Duda played uh, castling uh, kingside, but Magnus played very well that game, and uh, he sacrificed the rook, I think, and had uh, like about equal position. But it was extremely sharp. Knight f6, so knight is going to g6 probably, h3, queen c2. Uh, white side just uh, white is just developing, has a healthy position, and. Um, and uh, kind of um, just chills. C uh, C five. This move I I would never play um, because you give away this D five, and uh, you claim that uh, you have more space. Yeah, but um, and this queen here is uh, maybe not that strong piece uh, because you need to remaneuver it. You wanted to place it to H five, for instance. Yeah, but now it's kind of but it's moved like for um, two three uh, tempi uh, but after that black might be better so c4 bishop b8 uh, queen goes back uh, bishop a6 so you don't want to exchange just to give up your uh, e file and uh, you bef at least before you can uh, move the other rook and in order to move the other rook you need to clean this um, uh, um, <clears throat> eighth rank yeah and f6 bishop c7 takes takes queen d7 uh, i'm not sure i think that black is um i i think that generally black is better yeah? they have the subject to to attack they move their rook and white, white just waits what's going to happen. Um, so b4, again knight g6, maybe like second time in this game, knight d7 and knight to d5. So uh, another option could be for black to play knight to f5 and which immediately attacks the spawn but uh, with bishop c3 probably um, really white <coughs> will defend this d4 so it's an excellent blockading square and knight might go to f4 later in the game 
takes takes uh, queen a6 and g5 now uh, look at uh, this uh, architecture yeah, by Magnus um, all his pieces are developed his rook here is actually m plays an important role defending this uh, this pawn on a7 and now he just starts an offense using uh, that uh, he has an extra pawn actually on the king's side and f6 knight h2 and minus play the um, interesting move here uh, I, I wouldn't consider it uh, but probably it's very strong um, I would play something like uh, uh, I don't know rook uh, to e6 for instance yeah probably it loses a pawn or something yeah but uh, uh, I just cannot play like this but uh, these guys the, they do what is like against the rule against the rules yeah because they give up like a very good bishop against this uh, I mean, knight on, even though it goes to g4 you can play like h5 and limited magnus just gives it away was the king up and rook to be it uh, and uh, he just exchanged two pieces but uh, just look uh, he uh, like both rooks control um, one file but this rook cannot infiltrate uh, on the e file because knight is defending these two pawns on f file are perfectly defend the center and you cannot stop this rook from going to b2 and uh, knight also like puts big pressure yeah, you cannot move the bishop because uh, knight will jump closer and uh, black just has a big advantage 5 h6 not uh, russian things attacking the pawn and queen to b2 so um again um, i think that uh, at this point black is winning so i could check quickly with the engine um, uh, not really winning but it's minus one yeah uh, so engine uh, can defend it still uh, but what do we do here yeah if we play something like rook to e1 rook to e2 then uh, probably yeah this let's let's say wins yeah because bishop is pinned and if we move it then rook queen takes rook so uh, nice defense uh, knight to g6 yeah very nice move uh nepomniachi managed to like create uh, some counter chances yet yeah, threatening mating too but is this knight to g6 um, you cannot just uh, move the pieces around yeah it's not going to happen and the uh, knight is very well very good defender so nepo takes the uh, uh, takes the pawn h4 doesn't trade rook uh, queens check yeah and in this position Nepo resigned yeah because uh, this king has extra uh, <laughs> super defense yeah and knight as well so you cannot just uh, check the king even for once yeah and these two two pieces uh, coordinate and the uh, knight is ready to join the attack so very I think convincing win by Magnus and uh, with black pieces uh, uh, I wish both players uh, good luck, but I think that um, this scenario is not going to happen in this tournament. All right, uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.